guys welcome back to our homeschool uh this is week five of the lockdown i already pre-filmed for you what the kids are going to be doing i already set them up so i'm going to plop that uh video with materials real quick Mommy, from last night what i have prepped for tomorrow we're going to do a science experiment after we are done with everything uh this is the letters we are working on this week g i n H and F and here I have separately two sheets to match up those letters I also have a tray to write it out and we're gonna use our dry erase marker for Justin I have this transfer work which he's gonna be using a teaspoon uh, depending on your child's abilities you can use pretty much anything you can also use rice I'm using beans because it's something I have available I'm also using this um, plastic eggs Easter just happened and for uh, the second part of the activity, after he fills them up, we're going to close them and make shakers. This is something they came from. Also setting up a few new counting activity with this glass beads. I will share it with you tomorrow morning. transfer work with beans and also matching up all the color of the easter eggs i know easter just passed but we're going to be using actually easter eggs quite a bit today um and scarlet is going is doing time to rhyme it's a rhyming work from montessori school um that works on the understanding of the ending let's go through this this is flippers this is a sun those are slippers what that's weird that Flipper one. Okay, right, well, let's go through all the pictures and tell me what's this. One. That is swan. I'll help you. This is one. hard. Who's that? Wait. They are, but it's because they're slippers and flippers. All right, so the next one, I'll help you with this one. This is a booth. Booth? What rhymes with a booth? This activity is largely focused on hand-eye coordination. The transfer work period is hand-eye coordination and development of fine motor skills. Then also the ability to match the colors and close the eggs itself. It all strengthens the hand muscles. For cutting, uh, we are using Kumon workbook. So Scarlett is doing several things with her letters. First, she's tracing them on top of the plastic sleeve. Then she writes them independently. And then we go through the sounds that those letters make and find the objects that start with those sounds. Oh, that's a beautiful letter F. Okay. So what starts with an F? Can you think about something? It's fluffy. Should we find a feather? On the ground. Hot. Oh, that's right. What else? Where? What? Where do we live in? What is? But this? we can get our house. Get a oh, house. house. Hop, 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 hop for the letter H. Hop, hop, hop. And tell hop. me what letter D. What letter is this? Uh, Good job. D, real quick. Is, where is the little D? Good job. Now connect the two. Good job. What letter? What letter is that? Uh. I connected with little. I, good job. What letter is that? M. Good job. Connected with little. And good job. Go ahead. Scar D is a picture. Letter F. F with a F. Good job. Kids are having a bit of a break. They're just playing for a little bit. I set up Scarlett. She has a meeting with her teacher. Uh, if you are brand new to my vlogs and you're like, what is going on? I'm uh, homeschooling you to lockdown. I have two preschoolers. I have a three-year-old and a five-year-old. With my three-year-old, I work on a lot of preschool skills like cutting, number recognition, beginning letters. Uh, I do lots of fine motor skills practice. And we also use uh, Montessori Zell base. Both kids go to Montessori school and I love Montessori approach and been doing Montessori at home for a while. Um, so, and with my daughter, I do mainly uh, lowercase letters right now. Her counting and being able to break down the numbers from one through 10 and you know rhyming 
also beginning sounds, everything that pre-readers need. She actually started reading uh, during this whole lockdown. She's starting to blend the words, which is really exciting. So for numbers today, I created this little box here and we will be tracing the numbers and putting the right number of uh, beads, glass beads, and I will do the same with Justin. I typically do counting work for both children together, that way Justin goes all the way through 10 and starts breaking down the numbers, but right now Scarlett is sitting with her teacher, so I've kind of got him busy with the numbers that he can do independently and he goes up to 5. Then I get him a tracing book from Kuman, and Scarlett and I do the activity. The difference that I do with her, at the top I always lay out, well she lays out fives and then we make five and three make eight, five and four make nine, and then she moves on to uh, a book from, actually I picked up from Target a very long time ago. Very good. And you know all those letters too, right? Good job. Then two books. Do you see the two books? Yes, yeah, this is where we see the two. Uh, then two chairs. Oh, there's two pencils, you're right. Right there. Two chairs. So this book is a little easy for Scarlet, I feel like, but it does have writing the letters and it has the counting and stuff and it's fun. So I wanna end the homeschool academic part at something fun for the kids to do. Uh, and I'm gonna get something for Justin. Нет, смотри, что нужно. Найди, это что такое? Что это? Нет. Где square? Right here. Квадрат, square. А найди теперь квадрат вот в этом пазле. Right Положи теперь ну, вот сюда, клади. Вот сюда клади на square. Молодец. Это что такое? Oh, no. Triangle. Triangle. Найди теперь triangle. Yeah, vinegar, we got soda, we got a funnel, a bottle, and two balloons. Can you put the balloons back? This is a super cool science experiment that one of Scarlett's teachers shared with us and I thought I'll include it in this video because it was really fun. So sorry guys, I didn't realize that the uh, bottle was blocking it when I was filming. So what we're doing, we have a balloon attached to the funnel and we poured soda inside the balloon. babies that's going to work okay so we tied it up right oops and now we should put this on and fly it hey justin поднимай аккуратно аккуратно поднимай This is definitely a new take on the whole vinegar and soda explosions. I've also set up a sensory bin for the kids. I'm planning to do them uh, this week. This is our afternoon playtime. Um, the water beads are really cool. I actually buy mine at Hobby Lobby, but I'm sure you can buy them online right now. And I buy them colored, but you also can add food coloring when you set them up overnight and you can make them any kind of color. I don't know if it's a thing or not, but we kind of came up with it on our own while we were playing. We decided to put the uh, water beads inside the balloon and made our own squishies. We all 
done with homeschool for the day. Now it's gonna be lunch, nap, and then we'll go for a walk when it's not so wet outside. Hope you guys enjoyed this homeschool vlog. I am going to try actually sensory bin every day, maybe every other day, because I'm working in sensory bin video for you. Uh, so subscribe to my channel for more content of this kind. I'm gonna try to vlog every day for homeschooling ideas this week, and we'll see how it goes. I'll see you later.